Some of your personal things will cry pounding on the rock. I'm home! Ah, uh, four o'clock. Looks like I don't need to ask who got detention again. Tracy Turnblad, mind your manners and say hello to our guest. Hello, Mrs. Pinkleton. And you, Penny. Uh, hello, Mrs. Pinkleton. Uh, I mean, Mother. <laughs> oh, teenagers. They just love watching that corny Cotton show. Delinquents! It ain't right dancing to that colored music! Oh, don't be silly. It ain't colored. The TV's black and white. Nice white kids who like to lead the way And once a month we have a Sneaker Day! Cause I'm a man I'm a man I'm a Mr. Corny Collins With the latest and the greatest Woo! more sound So every afternoon drop every day Yeah. We're always in the home of God in the morning, but we're never gonna come down to the nicest city. 
sort of steadily, well, maybe we can make it official. <gasps> oh, but you're council member, and how sweet it, it matches my hair color exactly. Uh, 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 none of that. Save your personal lives for the camera. And we're back in five, four, three. Now, don't forget, guys, in Giga Tower, very first primetime spectacular is coming up on June 6th. We'll be live at the Baltimore Eventorium, broadcasting nationwide. Talent scouts will be on hand from all the major record labels, and sponsoring the event will be none other than our own Ultra Clutch Airstray. So, without further ado, -do, let's give a great big, fawning Baltimorean salute to the president of Ultra Clutch, Harriman F. Spritzer. Ultra Clutch is happy to bring you fine youngsters to national attention. Our, Our big, big break. break! And live on the special, we'll be crowning your choice for Miss Teenage Hairspray of 1962. My big break! Wasn't she a lovely slim girl? I guess Amber's pretty, but she can't dance. Plastic little spastic. Oh, no. I'm gonna kill myself! She's wearing Link's council ring! Hey, gang. Don't forget to watch Mom and me next Thursday on Mother Daughter Day. And I want to be your Miss Teenage Hairspray. Remember, a vote for me from you is a vote for me. Amber, what an unexpected ad lib. And speaking of expecting the unexpected, our very own fun-loving Brenda will now be taking a little leave of absence from the show. How long will you be gone, Brenda? Nine months. <laughs> so we'll be in need of a new council member, one who's just as fun-loving, but maybe not quite as freewheeling. Want to be one of the nicest kids in town? Cut school tomorrow and come on down to station WZZT to audition. Oh my god, it's the dream of a lifetime. I have to go audition. Oh my god, it's a dream of a lifetime. I have to go watch you audition. <sighs> That'll be enough of that for one day. No one is auditioning for anything. There'll be no more cut school in this house. But this is turn blood. Penny, go tell your mother she wants you. <gasps> she does? I better hurry. Bye, Mrs. Turnblad. Bye, Tracy. Whoa, rush hour traffic. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Since I got that new shipment of exploding bubble gum, business downstairs is booming. <laughs> <laughs> How are my two funny honeys? Oh, stop it, Wilbur. You're the funny one. Daddy, tomorrow I'm auditioning to dance on a TV show. <sighs> You're going to have to go further than that to get around me, young lady. No one is auditioning for anything. And what did I tell you about that hair? I'll run it up like some teenage Jezebel. Mother, you are so 50s. Even our first lady, Jackie B. Kennedy, rats her hair. Yeah? Well, you ain't no first lady, are you? She's a hair hopper, that's what she is. And it got her put in detention again. <sighs> Wilma, talk to her. Girls like Tracy, people like us, you know what I'm saying. They don't put people like us on television anymore, except to be laughed at. Tracy. This, this TV thing, do you really want it? It's my dream, Daddy. Well, then you go for it, babe. <laughs> this is America, and you gotta think big to be big. Being big is not the problem, Wilbur. You know, when I was your age, my parents 
begged me to run away with the circus, but I said, no. I said, I said, no, that's what you want. I have dreams of my own. I dreamt of opening a chain of joke shops worldwide. So, okay, I still only have one, but someday if I can figure out how to stop the air from leaking out of my sofa-sized whoopee cushion, why, I'm gonna make a noise heard around the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You follow your dream, babe. I'm gonna grab an orange crush and head back down to the Hardy Har Hut. I have my dream and I love it. <laughs> Stop it, Wilbur. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Tracy, come back up here. I've got hampers of laundry to fold in my diet pills wearing off. But, Mama, I wanna be famous. <laughs> you wanna be famous? Learn how to get blood out of car upholstery. That's a skill you can take right to the bank. <sighs> you think I wanted to spend my life washing and ironing everyone else's clothing? No, I wanted to design them. I wanted to be the biggest thing in Brazil's. <sighs> well, you better watch what you wish for. <laughs> now start folding. Ugh. I forbid you from listening to race music. Oh, if the police ever locate your father, he will punish you good. Amber, your dancing was atrocious today. I'm willing to lie, cheat, and steal for you to win that Miss Hairspray crown, but you've got to work with me here. Now let me get that zit. Stop. Is that any way to treat clean clothing? One day you're going to own Edna's Occidental Laundry. Are you going to be ready? I hope not. Don't contradict me! Don't disobey me! Don't even think about going to that audition. Please! No! no. Mother! Stop. Stop! Stop telling me what to do! Don't! Don't treat me like a child of two! No! no. I know that you want what's best! Please! My mother!
Okay, Mrs. Von Tussle, that was the last candidate. <laughs> really? That's all? Who would have thought Baltimore girls were such skags? My, how this town has gone downhill since I was crowned Miss Baltimore Crab. <laughs> Phew, I thought we would never make it. Stupid bus crash. All my life I imagined what this place would look like. This isn't it. <laughs> Hi there. Am I too late to audition? <laughs> Not too late, dear. Just too much. Tracy, look! It's Link! Link? Larkin? So near, yet so gorgeous. I know. Those girls are all over me. I don't know how Rock Hudson stands it. Oh, excuse me, little darling. Hope I didn't debt your due. I can't hear the bell. Tracy, are you all right? Well, don't you hear them chime? I don't hear anything. Can't you feel my heart beat? Keeping perfect time and all. He looked at me and stared. Yes, he bumped me. My heart was unprepared when he tapped me and knocked me off my feet. One little touch, now my life's complete. Cause when he nudged me, love put me in a fix. Yes, it hit me just like a ton of bricks. Yes, my heart burst. Now I know what life's about. One little touch and love knocked me out And I can hear the bell My head is spinning I can hear the bell Something's beginning Everybody says that a girl who looks like me Can't win his love Well, just wait and see Cause I can hear the bell
Ben, what are you doing here? Hello. I'm here to audition for Corny. My name is Tracy Turnblad, and like you, I go to Patterson Park High. I've seen you. <laughs> How could you miss her? <laughs> Aren't you usually in detention around now? I cut school to come down here today. Isn't that too cool? I'm sorry. I am just a little nervous. I assure you, I will calm down. Right after, I have a heart attack! <laughs> well, I brought my own 45, so if you just put them on, I'll show you my stuff. Haven't you shown us enough already? Oh my god, how times have changed. This girl's either blind or completely great. But time seems to halt when I want Miss Baltimore around. It's always been a dream of mine to dance on the show. Well, you ought to go back to sleep. When that damn Shirley Temple stole my frickin' act with the crowns and the vault for what I want, Miss Baltimore. Perhaps those poor runner ups might still hold some grudges they've had in their cups, but I screwed the judges and those broads thought they'd win if a play they would spin in their jets. Not a chance I hit the stage, but Tom. Blade, while singing I eat and preparing cheese to play But the triple somersault was how I clinched Miss Baltimore for crap Fire away, girl! We're too fine in the back Honey, look at her front! Wait, are we on candid camera? Okay, wear a towel in front Do you dance like you dress? Girls, there's no need to be cold Would you swim in an integrated pool? Sure I would I'm all for integration it's the new frontier. Not in Baltimore, it isn't. Um, where is Corny? I would love to dance for him. I'm the producer. And may I be frank? First impressions can be tough. And when I saw you, I knew it. If your side worked in love, your left answer just blew it. And so, my dear, so short and stout, you'll never be in somewhere kicking. Your form and your face. Oh, it isn't your fault. You're just caught with the case of me. Oh, tomorrow. You may go. Uh, thank you. I could tell I secretly liked you. Hello, ma'am. May I please audition? Of course not. But you can bow and exult, cause I am the most You're too stout. You're not council material. I keep up with all the fashions, all the latest trends. I am teasing my hair as high as I can. Must they give me any encouragement, any appreciation? No. All I ever hear is... Tracy Turnblad. Once again, your monumental hair dope has seriously obstructed everyone's view of the black woman. As the principal of Patterson Park High, I hereby condemn you to three more days of detention. Detention? Is there no pity for a teen just trying to fit in? Maybe you wouldn't try so hard. Excuse me. You have detention just about every time I do, and I don't see you complaining. Oh, I do. But this is my way of complaining. <laughs> It's how I use my boots. Oh, you better use them boots, brother. You gotta use them. Hey, that do this so well. The man can dine me on a diet of detention so long as he don't start in my dues, baby. There's a little something to signify to say hello. My name is Seaweed J. Stubbs. Ow! Oh, that's unbelievable. Can I do that? I don't know. Can you? Hello. My name is Tracy Turnblad. Ow! Ow! Hey, Seaweed. Pretty good for a white girl. Man, ain't no black and white up in here. 
You see, the tension is a rainbow experience. Hey, what's that, Steph? Oh, this? I call this the Peyton Place After Midnight. I use it to attract the opposite sex. Fearless, girl, you really got it going on. This program is joining you already in progress. All right. Oh my god, I just realized who you are. You need to talk Negro Day. Oh, Your mom is Miss Watermouth Maybell, the DJ? That makes you like royalty. Negro Day is the best. I wish every day was Negro Day. At our house it is. <laughs> hey, Courtney Collins is hosting the sophomore hot tomorrow night. If you saw me dancing like this with you, he'd put me on the show. They even see us two dance together. Y'all gonna get a show, all right? But on 11 o'clock news. So, uh, how you feel about the tension now? I'm a bad girl who needs to be punished. All right. <laughs> Smiling, laughing, dancing in detention. Tracy Turnblad, you can give up all your hopes of college. I'm putting you in special ed with the rest of these. These characters! No college! Where do you go after special ed? <laughs> Congress! Ow! <laughs> sophomores and sophomores at heart. I am honored to be your guest DJ here at uh, PPHS, but without further ado, do let's do do some dancing. <laughs> it's the hottest dance around. It was born right here in Baltimore. Now what's it called, kids? Dancing. And where did you see it first? The All right, then let's form some big strong lines. It's Madison time. Link. Hey, bye, Jake! 
Miss Tracy Turnblad. Oh, my word, Tracy, live in our own living room. Oh, I think I've seen her here before. And she's going to be a regular. Imagine, my little girl regular at last. Can't hear you. <laughs> Hello. Yes, this is her child at home. No, this is not her father. <laughs> so let's wave a wistful bye bye to Brenda. We'll see you next year. Aww. And inaugurate the newest member of our council, Miss Tracy Turnblad. Why don't you cozy on up to Old Corny and tell us about yourself, Trace? Well, I go to Patterson Park High, I watch your show, and I do absolutely nothing else. <laughs> but someday, I hope to become the first woman president of the world. Or a rockette. You gotta think big to be big. And if you were elected president, Tracy, what would your first act be? I would make every day Negro Day. Oh. Well, Tracy, I uh, read you like tomorrow's newspapers. What do you say, kids? We might just have a hot new candidate for Miss Teenage Hairspray. <laughs> no, she can't be Miss Hairspray. She's the before in the Metric Hill Diet ad, and I'm the after, and after always wins. <laughs> what a comedian! Uh, tell us true, Tracy. How would you like Link Larkin to sing a special song just for you? <laughs> no, he can't. Everyone knows that whenever he sings, he sings to me. He's completely involved with me, see? Right. So, Tracy, tell us true. How would you like Link Larkin to sing a special song just for you? Would I? Would I? You people are ignoring the laws of nature! Mother! Link Larkin, our own budding Elvis, will now sing to the equally blooming Tracy Turnblad. His for he to say top 40 hit. It takes two. Well, they say it's a man's world, but it cannot be denied. But what good's a man's world without a woman by his side? And so I will wait until that moment you decide. Then choose me, I don't want to rule
on Tussle, Negro Day every day, that chubby communist girl, and kissing on the mouth, possibly parted lips. I assure you, controversy is not what Ultra Clutch wishes to promote. You know, Negroes and chubby girls buy hairspray too, Mr. Spritzer. Tussle, how do you plan to handle this? I plan to start by firing him. You can't fire Corny Collins from the Corny Collins show. Why not? They do it all the time on Lassie. Mr. Spritzer, to keep your audience, you've got to keep up with the times. The show is fine the way it is. No, bringing Tracy on was just the beginning. I've got terrific new ideas for updating the show. Getting one of my sick headaches? Is there a place where I might lie down? There's a bed in my office. <laughs> so, you've got ideas, do you? And putting this no-talent commie on the show is one of them? You're damn right, Belma. You know, it's time we start putting kids on the show who look like the kids who watch the show. Not while I'm producing it. You know, I was thinking it just might be time to change that, too. Are you threatening me, Collins? Oh, you know me, Velma. You know, on the other hand, I could always just take the show on over to Channel 11. <laughs> oh, my God. That snake that sings. He's a puppet, but I... The string that I knew Negro Day would bring chaos and change. Now he's pushing that pinko who might give us a mage. She's a blemish, a blackhead that must be expelled. There's a standard of beauty that must be upheld. You can say I'm a bigot, but it just isn't true. Look, I love Sammy Davis, and he's black and a Jew. But they better get set for a fool out of salt. They should never have boy of Miss Baltimore Yes, thank you so much. I'm sure Tracy really appreciates your vote for Miss Teenage Hairspray. Yes, and she loves you too very much. Whoever you are. Okay, goodbye. Oh. Oh. This is crazy. Oh. Hello. What am I wearing? A house dress scuffies and suck pose. What are you wearing? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Did you see me, Mama? Did you see? Of course I did. It was on television. I had to. The phone's been ringing like we was a telethon. To think a beloved TV icon, the fruit of my womb. So you're not mad? Mad? How could I be mad? You're famous. But if you'd only told me you could have gotten yourself on the show, I would have never said you couldn't. But sit, tell me, is Fane everything you thought it would be? Are you happy, honey? Yes, Mama. And I think I'm in love. Oh, I know. I've been following. <laughs> but you and I are going to have to have a talk about crooners. We can learn a lot from the mistakes of Miss Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> oh. oh, there it goes again. Oh. Hello? Yes, this is Tracy Turnblad. Hello, Mr. Pinky. <gasps> Mr. Pinky. Me, Mr. Pinky. As a Mr. Pinky's empty hideaway. Quality clothes for quantity gals. That Mr. Pinky. You want to hire me as your exclusive spokesgirl and fashion effigy? What's an effigy? <laughs> well, that is very flattering, Mr. Pinky, but I'm afraid all business must go through my agent. It would be our pleasure. We'll be right over. Thank you, Mr. Pinky. Goodbye. An agent? Oh, I don't know about any agent. Um, how about a nice bail bondsman? Mother, put that thing down. I'm taking my new agent to the hefty hideaway and then out of the town. Who? Me. Oh, Tracy Turnblad. Famous gone to your head and left you wacky. You need a top shelf professional. Um. Who handled the Gabor sisters? Uh, well, who didn't? Oh. Mother, there's a creepy broad out there that 
I know nothing about. When things get tough, a girl needs her mama. Tracy, I'll be right by your side if that's what you want. And together we'll claw your way to the top. But can we do this over the phone? I haven't left this house since Mamie Eisenhower rolled her hose and bobbed the bed.
that supposed to be? Isn't it the dreamiest? It's called the Tracy. Anyone who's anyone has one. <whistles> Gather round, students. Embrace yourselves for scattered agile. Kathy Schmink told me she heard Tracy was in the backseat of a car with two guys at once playing tonsil hockey in the nude. Is it true they put her in special ed? Yep. Tracy Turnblaw is a tramp and she's stupid. That's right, she's fast and slow at the same time. <laughs> Link Larkin, how could you kiss that beehive buffalo right on the air? That didn't mean anything, Amber. Just a cool way to end the song. Hey, look, guys. Here comes the special ed. <laughs> snicker, 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 snicker. Hey, <laughs> knock it off, Fender. Come on, that ain't cool. Try to act like a grown-up. Got a prayer for me, too? This game can get pretty vicious. What is Scatter Dodgeball, anyway? It's a sort of like a protest rally. When the police show up, you better scatter and dodge. Hi, Tracy! Sorry about your special edness, but think of it as a testament to the record-breaking extremes your hair has reached. I'm so jealous. Hello. Penny Lou Pingleton. Wait a minute, I've seen you before. At the gum machine. Getting your wriggling. <laughs> I do two packs a day. Hmm, all that chewing must make the muscles in your mouth mighty strong. Not really, probably just average. <laughs> well, well, well. Tracy Tugboat. Looks like you finally found a title you could win. Miss Special Ed. Knock it off, Amber. Amber Von Tussle, you have acne of the soul! Students, commence! Hey, Thunder Thighs, that's it! Go like a girl! Hey, no fair throwing at the head! Yeah, go for a boy! World War III. Says you. We need dodgeball, trampy tunnel lord. Game over. Class dismissed. All right, girls, who wants to take a shower? Extra credit. <laughs> Poor Tracy. So tragic, I forgot to cry. Are you coming, Link? Amber, that wasn't necessary. I said, are you coming, Link? In a minute. I'll be waiting under the bleachers. Uh oh, Tracy! Are you dead? I better go get the school nurse. I'll go with you. Trace? Trace, are you all right? Gee, you look beautiful when you're unconscious. I can hear the bells. Where am I? Link? You all right? For a second there, it looked like Teen Angel time. Wherever I am, nobody changed the channel. You got a good way of putting things. I like that. The nurse is out sick. Band-Aids and Q-tips. He's so nurturing. Link, this is my friend Seaweed. How you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? How do you think? I just got creamed in front of the entire school. Hey, Trace. I know what'll make you feel better. My mom is pitching a platter party at our record shop on North Avenue. Want to come, uh... Check it out. Uh, I too feel not good. May I also come check it out? <laughs> oh, you surely may. I've never been to North Avenue before. See, we would it be safe up there for you know us? Yeah, don't worry, Crackerboy. It's cool. 
What do you think, Blake? I think getting to know you is a whole lot of adventure. A fashion! Being invited places by colored people! It feels so hip. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, my friends, because uh, not everybody does. <laughs> hey! I can't see why people look at me and only see the color of my face. Oh, yeah, but then there's those who try to help. God knows what had to always put me in my place. Now, I won't ask you to be colorblind, cause if you pick up fruits, then girl, you're sure to find the black is the very sweet of the juice. I can say it ain't so, darling, what's the use? The darker the chocolate, the richer the taste, and that's very sad. Now, run and tell that, aren't you glad? Run and tell that. Why people disagree each time I tell them what I know is true. Uh-huh. You see the whole world I'm from, I bet your heart is gonna feel it too. Yeah, now I could lie, but baby, let's be bold. Vanilla can be nice, but if the truth be told, the black is the best, the sweeter the juice. I can say it ain't so, darling, what's the use? The darker the chocolate, the richer the taste, and that's very sad. Run and tell that. 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 Run
doing in this huge crowd of minorities? You're trying to fit in. What are you doing here? I waited for you halfway through the JV track meet. When I saw you getting on the North Avenue bus, I followed you here in my new car. We're having a blast. Come jump in. chicken and waffles. <laughs> so I drove up to Ruby's takeout, by the way. <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. I'm Tracy's mom. Hi. So you're what spawned that. Excuse me. I guess you two are living proof that the watermelon doesn't fall very far from the vine. <laughs> Tracy, be a dear and hold mommy's waffles. <laughs> Hey, a party! Anyone up for chicken and waffles? If we get any more white people in here, it's gonna be a suburb. <laughs> Come on, Amber, let's get back to the right side of the tracks. If our cars are still there. Let's go, Link. Amber, you're being rude to these people. Amber, come! Link, come. Link. Come. Amber, go. <laughs> Whatever happened to the bland, spineless boy I fell in love with? <laughs> Mother, come. With pleasure. Ah. I did not care for them. <laughs> Are all white people like that? Oh, no. Just most of them. <laughs> changing things. If people saw us dancing like this on TV, they'd realize that we're not so different. We just want to have a good time. Are you saying that you and Link will be willing to dance with us on Negro Day? Tracy. No. We're not going to dance on Negro Day. Ooh. Mm. You're going to crash White Day. What? No, we're not. A uh, White Day is every day. You've got to get more specific than that. <laughs> Dancing on TV won't give me a recording contract. Okay, that came out wrong. Trace, I've been dancing, singing, and, and smiling on that show for three years, waiting for it to lead to my big break. I mean, you've got everything brains, talent, personality. Me, I got one chance to be seen nationwide. Trace Saturday night is everything I've worked for. I'm not going to throw that away. Come on, I'm, I'm going. You, you got to go too. No. I want to do this. And so should you. Wait, stay, please. 
Sorry. But I was just starting to think maybe we were... Sure. Me too. I don't know, Trace. It's, it's getting too complicated and we still am. See you, little darling. Sorry, Tracy. Oh, Mama. How could I ever think someone like Link Larkin would like someone like me? Well, why would he? You're a beautiful girl. It's just, it's just Eddie Fisher all over again. <laughs> oh, tease me, Mama. I really liked him. I've never felt anything like this before. I know, and I'm sure he likes you, too. It's just... Oh, just boys aren't the brightest things. But still, you give him time, and I'm sure he'll discover he's crazy about you. You have to say that. You're my mother. I'm more than your mother. I'm a woman in love, and we know about these things. But Tracy, you could be right. Should you risk your career? I wouldn't even be on that show if it weren't for seaweed. No. No, it's payback time! That's my girl. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. Tomorrow, everyone bring your mothers and sisters. And we'll meet outside the station and make signs. Yes! And put words on them! <laughs> Miss Motormouth, you and little Inez will walk first. Me and Mama will be right behind you. Excuse me. They'll never be able to push them back out the door with us blocking it. I'm sorry, Tracy, but no one said anything about me appearing on television. I'm sorry, Tracy, but I simply can't go on television at my present weight. You can't let weight restrict your fate. Look at me, I'm on TV. Yeah. Oh, but Miss Mona Mouth, you're a celebrity. I'm just a simple housewife of indeterminate girth. The bigger the girth, the more the girth. Now, Mr. Turnblad, you don't mind that the missus here is an ample American, I think. Oh, not at all. I like to think of her as prime real estate. Yeah, Madison, listen to me.
I bet they have rap sheets. If my mother was alive, <laughs> she would be so proud. <laughs> Remember, your grandma was a suffragette. Right. You haven't heard the last from us, Miss Bontussel. We'll march again, and soon to the beat of a whole new era. Bang your drum, Bonzo. No one cares. Don't even think about protesting or even showing up at the special. I'll have armed guards surrounding the eventorium to make sure that Tracy can't get within a hundred miles of that place. Game, set, match. Von Tussle Velma? Von Tussle Amber? That's us. Ladies, you are free to go with the sincere apologies of the state of Maryland and the personal compliments of the governor himself. <laughs> the governor? Really? Sweet Chubby Miller. It pays to have a politician in your pocket and the floor right in your safe. <laughs> now, if you two double wide twins will excuse me, I have a national television spectacular to produce. I was never here. This never happened. Oh, and Tracy, any message for Link? He saw my lips, and I'll be sure he gets it. So long, Baltimoreans. I still don't care for them. I hear you, Miss T. This old jail just got a whole lot nice. Hey, you got a visitor. Tail's been posted. <gasps> Thank the Lord for those who can afford it. I posted bail. Well, but how? Simple, really. I just mortgaged to the Hardy Car Hut. Oh, Daddy! That place is your life. No, you two are my life. Bail for everyone! Bail for the house! You're all free to go! It's time to add you in a group of folks to have your homes. All prisoners have to turn in your chap shoes on the way out! So, shall we make haste? <laughs> oh, this sucker, man! We're keeping that Roton rabble rouser on ice. But I paid for everyone. I got a group discount. <clears throat> Tracy Turnblad is herewith and forthwith withheld without bail. She is to be moved into solitary confinement and held there until further notice by special orders of the governor's office. So there. The governor's office? Miss Von Tussle. Manipulating our judicial system to win a contest is just un-American. To make things worse for yourselves, just move out peacefully. I'm not going anywhere without my daughter. It's okay, Daddy. They can't keep me in here forever. Besides, I have a lot of thinking to do, and I might as well do it in solitary refinement. <laughs> I'm going to count to three, and then I will rearrest all of you for illegal trespassing. Let's go. We can't do her any good in here. Touch one hair on my little girl's head, and I'll be back to teach you a whole new meaning to split. <laughs> You're so lucky to get out of the algebra final.
Yes, Mr. Pinky, I understand that you have an empire to protect. Yes, I'll return all the clothes. The petty pants, too, I scarcely wore them twice. Oh, Mr. Pinky, she's just a little girl, and little girls make mistakes. If they didn't, where would other little girls come from? <laughs> yes, I understand. Goodbye, Mr. Pinky. Oh, Wilbur, this is a real my doll moment. Almost done. My stomach's in knots, my nerves are on edge. Calm down, sweetheart. I can't calm down. They are named for women who got themselves arrested for abandoning their daughters for trying to integrate an after-school sock hop type television show. They are names, and Hallmark doesn't make cards for any of them. You can't worry about people calling you names. You know how many times I've been called crazy? But I say, yeah, crazy, crazy like a loon. Anyway, we haven't abandoned her. Got just what Tracy needs right here. Sit back. Well, what do you think? Ain't it a doozy? Impressive. But how's that little thing gonna help our Tracy? Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, sure. You're a visionary inventor saving the day. Tracy's a teen idol for shaping the world. And what am I? I had a dream too, you know. I used to make all my own clothes, remember? So I wandered beyond the boundaries of the largest of the calls pattern. But one day, I dreamed that I put out my own line of queen size dress pattern. You were good, Edna. Yeah, and where's it gotten me? Twenty years later, I'm still washing, mending, and ironing everyone else's clothing. One day, Edna. No day, Wilbur. My time's come and gone. I'm like a half-filled book of green stamps. <laughs> Beyond redemption. <laughs> oh, Wilbur, I suddenly feel so old. Oh, nonsense, Carl. You're as spry as a slinky. Why, whenever I'm with you, it's like grabbing hold of a giant joy buzzer. Signs keep a changing, the world's rearranging. But Edna, you're timeless to me. Them lines are shorter, a beer costs a quarter. But time cannot take what comes free. You're like a stinky old cheese, babe. Huh? Just getting riper with age. Uh. You're like a fake disease. What? But there's no cure, so let this be a rage. Some folks can't stand it, say time is abandoned, but I take the opposite view. Cause when I need a lift, time brings a gift, another day with you. A twist or a waltz, it's all the same schmaltz with just a change in the scenery. You'll never be old hat, that's that. Your time was to me. Oh, Wilbur. Bats keep a fading, Castro's invading. But Wilbur, your time was to me. Hairdos are higher, might feel like barbed wire. But you say I'm cheap as can be. You're like a rare vintage ripple, a vintage they'll never forget. So pour me a teeny weeny triple, and we can toast the fact we ain't dead yet. I can't stop beating, your hairline's receding, and soon there'll be nothing at all. So you'll wear a wig while I roast a pig, hey, pass that chair at all. Where Bill had rash, you chuck the checkers again, but they all pass eventually. You'll never be passe, if you're ready, it's timeless to me. Oh, Edna, babe, 
baby, dance with me. You still got it, baby. I'm a bad one, you know, well, Broken down chair. All you need is a fresh coat of paint. Come on. You got me going hot and heavy. You're fat and old. Or in Ukraine. Some folks don't get it, but we never pray. Cause we know the time is our friend. It's plain to see. And you're stopping me. A little bit better. jail really brought me back to my senses. I thought I'd lose it when I thought I lost you. I, I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't concentrate. You I... couldn't eat? No. Anyway, so I went down to the station to tell Miss Fontelso that I'm through with the Miss Hairspray broadcast. You did? I didn't. You see, when I got down to the station, I, I overheard Miss Fontelso talking to the Spritzer and and it's Amber the town scout they're coming to see. They had nothing to do with me. All this time, you know, I thought Amber and I were a team. But she and her mother were just using me to make her popular. I feel like such an idiot. That makes two of us. Look, Trace, I, I know a palooka like me isn't worthy of a groundbreaking extremist like you, but a little scuff from Amber throwing in my face when I told her I'd rather be with you. You did? I did. So would you consider wearing my ring? Would I? Would I? To lose thee? Or to lose myself? Some kid named Milton wrote that in the third floor boys' room. It's beautiful. I have a good life. Great parents. My own room. Stacks of 45, gray sweaters, and a learner's permit good through August. But do you know what I've been missing lately? No. Sure, so keep us from kissing, but can't keep us from singing. So was a selfish man, never understood. Never looked inside myself. On the outside, I looked good. He's met and you made me. I'm in love with you, no matter what you weigh, without love, life is 
Light is like the seasons with no summer without love. Light is rock and roll with that drummer. Tracy, I'll be your
promising, formerly wholesome teen idol, Link Lockett. If sighted citizens are asked to notify police or, if phone service is not available, simply shoot to kill. In entertainment news, Eva Marie is no safe. Lord have pity, it is a crazy city. My baby! And, and Penny is it. Yes, ma'am. See, we got it. Is it okay I brought her home? I had to get away from her nasty mama. Oh, hush now, don't explain. I had an inkling and a twinkle the first time I seen you two dancing together. And you don't mind? I never mind, love. It's a gift from above, but not everyone remembers that. So you two better brace yourself for a whole lot of ugly coming at you from a never-ending parade of stupid. That's okay, my mother's gonna kill me anyway. <laughs> no, she won't, she'll kill him. Hey, Miss Motormouth, we broke Tracy out of jail. We know it's been on all three channels. Yeah. The jailbreak was easy compared to getting a ride through the side of town. <laughs> well, we all gotta get busy. Only 24 hours to Miss Hairspray, and it's gonna be on national TV. We may never get another chance like this. So, I'm gonna start by getting Corny and the guards from the studio to help us. Uh, and maybe your dad can help too. He sometimes has ideas. Yeah, and I know a guy who has no. some ideas about. I have to turn myself in and go back to jail. Say what? what? Tracy, no. I can't put all of you in any more danger. We should have thought more before we busted out like this. My dad could lose the hearty har hut. And Link, you could go to jail for what you did tonight. Just first base in the back of the cab, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Motormouth, we have been on all three channels of the news. And I can't have you arrested for harboring a fugitive. And Penny, your mom will kill you. No, she won't. She'll kill him. <laughs> Listen, I already went to jail once for backing up the white girl. Don't mind sitting this one out. Man, I hear you. Besides, we already tried it and it didn't work. And it won't be like Mother Daughter Day again. Miss Von Tussel said she'll have armed guards at the Eventorium. <laughs> Arms! Someone could get shot. For what? Because we all danced to some old face show? Hold it. No one said this was going to be easy. If it's worth having, it's worth fighting for. Tracy, why did you start all of this in the first place? Was it just to dance on TV? No. Then maybe it was to get the bull. No. I almost lost him because of it. Then was it to get yourself famous? No. I just think it's stupid we can't all dance together. So you tried once and you failed. Children, we cannot get lazy when things get crazy. You were not the first to try, and you will not be the last. But I'm here to tell you that I'm gonna keep lining up until someday somebody breaks through. And I've been looking at the door a lot longer than you. What door? The front door.
Power and punch and charm. Is it boy? No, it's air spray. What can the girl ask us a lunch? Is it brains? Is it dough? No, it's air spray. Take a ride with no cane. Let your side. That young lady will be gone with the wheel. But it's spray and then lock it. You can take off and ride it. Mother, her hair she should smother with gold to crush faithfully. So if you're a redhead, a blonde of an actor, take my advice and you might just get it right. The only thing better than hairspray, that's me. Forget the milkman, the only thing better than hairspray. Since the latest police bulletins say that Tracy Turnblad is still at large. At very large. Our winner just might be a foregone conclusion. Still, our rules say that contestants have to dance for it. So, Amber, are you ready? Ready as a rabbit on Easter corny. <laughs>
of just weeks and it's the winner. What did I tell you? Give me the crown, give me the flowers, and everybody start bowing. Not so fast, Amber. Look who's coming through the front door. Woo! I know, I, 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 Tracy. 
plus a full scholarship to Essex Community College. You cannot buy this kind of publicity. Velma, you're a genius. Ultraclutch is about to launch an entirely new line of products, and I want this woman to have the campaign. I just don't know what to say. Comes to offices, a company car, and a multi-figured salary. Oh, I just don't know what to say. Velma Von Tussle, you are now the newly appointed Vice President of Ultraglow, beauty products for women of color. <laughs> And America would like to hear you two kids sing our new theme song. Think I can get you a recording contract? My big break! Give me back my daughter! I know you brought her! I saw her TV! Hey! Well, I hardly recognize you all done up like that. Oh, pretty girl, Mama! You look so happy. Yeah. 